Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. Today, we're going to learn about algebraic and numeric expressions. We're going to evaluate using the variables given. So, if I was given this expression, x times z plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 minus y, and we had to use x to equal 6, y equal negative 5, and z to equal 2. Okay? Well, what I want to do now is I'm going to take my expression, and every single time I see an x, y, or z, I'm going to substitute in the corresponding number, 6, negative 5, and 2. So, let's go do that. I see an x right here in the beginning. I'm going to put a 6 in. So, I'm substituting 6 in for x. The z is next. So, I have a big parenthesis. Now, z is just a 2 plus 3. Then we have plus 1 comes down, and I close parentheses there, plus 3, minus my y, which is a negative 5. So now I've eliminated all of my variables by substituting a corresponding number for each one. So now it's time to simplify. Well, inside my parentheses, I have to deal with that first. So the 6 stays on the outside here, and I have the 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 comes out to be a 5. Then we have plus 1 down, and plus 3. Now here we have a minus a negative 5. That's the same thing as adding a positive. So I'm going to switch that here. Positive 5. Next step is multiplication. We have multiplication going on here, right? So 6 times 5 is a 30. 30. And then we have plus 1, plus 3, and then plus a 5. At this point, it's all addition, so it really doesn't matter which one we add first. But let's just go left to right here. 30 plus 1 is 31. Plus 3 is 34. So we have 34 here. Plus 5. And 34 plus 5 is a 39. And there we have it. Our final answer is just a 39. So let's recap. We're given x times z plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 minus y. And we had to use x equal to 6, y equal to negative 5, and z equal to 2. When we substitute each one of those uh, variables, um, x, y, and z, which are the corresponding parts, and when we substituted it in, and I put little parentheses around which ones uh, I substituted in, just to know that I did that. I then followed my order of operations. Inside the parentheses was first, 2 plus 3 was a 5. Then I had multiplication, 6 times 5 to be a 30. During that step, or earlier, I made this subtracting negative to be adding a positive. At this point, though, I had 30 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5. I just added it across the board, and you probably think that on all in one step, I've kind of broken it to two, but 30 plus 1 plus 3 was 34. Plus 5 is a 39, and that is 